Hello everybody and what is going on? So today we are going to be looking at a week in outfits summer edition may contain shorts so yes here in the uk we've been getting days where it's been relatively sunny as soon as it's over 18 degrees bust out the shorts the short sleeve t-shirts the barbecues out cold one with the boys one sunny day is a military operation to get as much vitamin d as possible and we've got some family fun outfits for everyone to enjoy so if you're new to a week in outfits or weekly outfits i basically show you what i've been wearing from monday to friday you might be sitting there thinking to yourself what do you not wear clothes on the weekend? Nah, on the weekend I am editing this video in a tracksuit, the purest form of cozy boys. So enough with the waffle, let's just dive into Monday's outfit that I like to call the PE teacher look. So on the top end of this outfit, we are wearing a vintage Russell Athletics Michigan t-shirt, a light zip up hoodie from Benny Culture, great next chino shorts. And on foot, we've got one of the greatest sneakers of all time, the Nike Air Max 97 Silver Bullets. So firstly, I just just want to thank Benny Culture for gifting me this hoodie. It's not like a heavy duty hoodie, it's quite thin, perfect for summer, subtle Benny branding on the front there, red as well, matches the red swoosh on the silver bullets, tactical, zip up as well so we can flex on the t-shirt, didn't really do much flexing, just Michigan, never even been to Michigan, sick mate, exposed. But enough with the fun and games, sideline, we like to have fun here. This whole entire outfit is great, it's got the PE teacher look going on, but I like it for that simply because it's casual, it's something that I can literally throw on and go about town minding my own business. It's a low key outfit, but we've got some of the current trends. You've got the College Academy font going on there on a shirt. You've got the Air Max 97s on foot going in strong in 2018. Silver Bullets, OG colorway. You've got the gray shorts just sitting there doing their job, exposing them pasty legs. And of course, the Benny Culture hoodie, because the weather here isn't consistent. You'll get about half an afternoon's worth of good weather. And then the second the sun goes down, you might as well put your snow boots on because it's gonna be that cold. So take the hoodie, embrace your inner PE teacher, not like that. But that was the first outfit of the day, Monday's outfit. Moving on to Tuesday's outfit. So this is an outfit I like to call, all I need now is a Places Plus Faces shoulder bag to sell pills at Park Life Festival. So here we have the elusive vintage St. Michael's short sleeve festival shirt. All the funky colorways, all the colors of the rainbow, just doing bits. White t-shirt underneath, you don't need any more business on the top end of the outfit. Tucking the t-shirt into a belt, we're not animals here. Recycle the next chinos. And on foot, we are wearing the Nike Air Max 1 Anniversary Editions. When it comes to the sneakers, it doesn't even matter what color you pick. You're bound to hit a color that's on the short sleeve button up shirt. So yes, this is basically the festival look. But again, this is one of those shirts that you can casually wear anywhere. Short sleeve button up shirts are definitely a trend this summer. I see a lot of people busting the short sleeve shirts. Just check the last Sick Fits video, plug. Again, I decided to make the spine of this outfit pretty neutral with the white t-shirt and the gray shorts because I wanted all of the eyes to be focused on the short sleeve shirt and of course to flex a little bit with a Nike Air Max 1 because everybody knows when you get g-checked it's outfit then shoes so ticking all of the boxes to survive at Reading hold tight myself for sending in this outfit so the next outfit is probably my least favorite out of this whole week simply because this is an outfit I've worn plenty of times now but I just haven't put it in a weekly outfits video yet and that is the off-white champion t-shirt with the vintage St. Michael shorts and on foot I am wearing the Air Max 97 metallic golds. Now this outfit has probably got the most flex out of all of the outfits in today's video. You've got the big off off-white champion t-shirt with the big off logo on the back. The front's calm, it's low key. It's one of those if you know you know type t-shirts until you turn around and it's like oh my god the entire back says off-white basically. The shorts are pretty cool as well. I like the idea of pairing yellow and blue together which is why these two items of clothing are seen exclusively with each other. I just love how they complement each other. So the t-shirt and the shorts basically come as a pair and on foot, instead of going basic, we went full flex with the Air Max 97 metallic golds. Side note, I'm probably gonna be selling them soon because they're a half a size too small, but I decided to bust them out for this outfit because I thought that they would match the yellow in the t-shirts and they would complement the flex a little bit. Now, personally, I'm not 100% on this fit, but I think for a casual hype beast fit, this does definitely run. And that's all I have to say on Wednesday's outfit. Moving on to Thursday's outfit. So, Thursday's outfit is where I had a lot of fun. I decided to go full on luxury fashion geezer. We've got the light Burberry top, 
rolled up at the sleeves. We've got the Louis Vuitton lock necklace, a plain white t-shirt, because no t-shirt can compare with this combo. Tucked in the t-shirt into a pair of shorts, wrapped the belt around it, and on foot we've got a pair of gray Air Max 95s. We went back to Park Life. This is day two. We've got ourselves a full-fledged ticket. Is Park Life more than a one-day event? Whatever. Don't worry about it. So this is definitely one of my favorite fits of the week. Just because I don't get to wear the Burberry top out often. And when I do, I never know what to pair it with. But I think this is definitely where the Burberry top shines. We've broken the shirt down, making it super casual, unbuttoned, rolled up. It's lost all credibility as a formal shirt. But wait, there's more. We decided to pair this with a plain white t-shirt because the Louis Vuitton necklace and the Burberry top just scream vintage luxury fashion. And if we had anything in the middle here, I think it would just overload the top end. But I think this look is perfect as it is. Goldilocks is porridge. Now on the bottom end of the outfit, I decided to go with the black shorts simply because if I wore the grey shorts it would sort of meld all together and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to break the outfit up a little bit just to give the top end a little bit of breathing room and I think these shorts did their job perfectly. Now the sneakers for this outfit had a couple of iterations but I decided to go with the light Air Max 95s simply because I wanted to turn this whole outfit on its head matching the colours of the top end of the outfit but giving it a super casual look with the 95s and just seeing what would happen and I think they contrast each other really really well. So that was Thursday's outfit. Moving on to Friday's outfit. Bam! Plot twist. You've been looking at Friday's outfit this entire time because this is Friday's outfit. So on the top end here we've got a thrifted next knitwear jumper. I absolutely love the fit of this jumper. It's big, it's baggy, it's got a nice colour to it and I decided to accessorise it with the LV lock again because it's pretty much my only piece of jewellery that I own. But nonetheless, I think they go well together. And because I am 100% committed to this trend, I have tucked in this jumper into my jeans, got the big ass belt to separate the two, and I think it looks super sick best dressed YouTuber. That meme is dead now. And on the bottom end of this outfit, I am wearing a pair of black St. Michael's jeans. You might be sitting there thinking to yourself, are you actually wearing black jeans in summer? You absolute madman. This is the UK. Summer can mean shorts and a t-shirt or it can mean a parker jacket and boots. And rounding off this outfit, I decided to wear a pair of black Air Max 95s just because I wanted to keep it G. I mean, the outfit is pretty trendy from top to bottom. So I decided to give it a little bit of flair, a little bit of my own personal taste into it with the Air Max 95s. Altogether, I would say that this is a pretty basic outfit. You've just got cream at the top, black at the bottom, that's about it. Personally, I think it's simple but effective. It's a clean outfit. Sometimes less is more, and this is actually one of my favorite outfits that I've ever put together. And that was Friday's outfit. So let me know in the comment section down below which one of these outfits was your favorite. Personally, Thursday and Friday were my personal favorites. I'm really interested in the inclusion of accessories, so I'm gonna be expanding on that a lot more. I'll be honest with you, summer is one of my weakest seasons, but I'm learning, I'm adapting. Also, let me know in the comment section what you've been wearing recently, especially if you're from the UK, how have you been combating this unpredictable weather? And for anything else fashion related, leave all of your comments in the comment section down below. So, it's time for the outro. If you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like if you want to subscribe and see if more of what I do because I do a lot of fashion based stuff lifestyle based stuff and style based stuff then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here share this video with your friends waffle gang gang cozy boys you're done no and now that is everything bye